It's an awesome feeling. It's uh, something I think uh, every young footballer should aspire to. Particularly when it's jam-packed, there's an atmosphere second to none and uh, spins, sends tingles up and down your spine as it did today. The feeling of running onto the MCG and representing your state in front of 70,000 people is a thrill AFL players never get used to. You know, it's something that you, you, I guess you're not ready for, you sort of dream of. It's an overwhelming occasion for even the toughest of AFL footballers. Imagine then what it's like for two 10-year-olds with a lot less experience. You're feeling nice and relaxed, are you? Yeah. Well, that's good. Meet Robert Latham and Josh Grono. Around the other way, mate. <laughs> who won a Hungry Jacks competition and a chance of a lifetime to be mascots for a day and lead their state teams onto the MCG. I think it's one of the most exciting days I've ever had in my life. What do you think it's going to be like, Josh and Rob, um, running out in front of 70,000 people? Nervous. <laughs> I think it'll be very scary, but I can't. I wouldn't be able to keep a smile on my face. I don't believe it, but I'm actually representing Victoria, so I've got to be on my best behaviour. <laughs> Out of all the state, I won this, and it's really cool. You've got a responsible job, and if you muck it up, you'll probably put down the team. I'd like to meet Gary Ablett. He's just uh, a legend. Could I have your autograph? I'd really like to say that. <laughs> But before the thrill of 